What's up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. We talk a lot in this culture about deadbeat fathers, about men who, quote unquote, wouldn't step up to the plate, who wouldn't handle their responsibilities, who wouldn't be a real man, as they say. But today, I got a story that's going to make your blood boil. For those of you who have kids or nieces and nephews or grandchildren, you haven't seen them forever because you know what I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. I'm going to let this young man tell his story in his own way. Roll the clip. Where's my father? Nowhere to be found. You know why he was nowhere to be found? Because I just I just got a relationship with him a few months ago. Because my mom told me my dad wasn't shit to yeah. keep me away from my dad. I'm 26, bro. I'm 26. My mom kept me away from my dad for 26 years. You know what kept me away from him? My mom told me that my dad said I was a mistake and kept me away from my father. Yeah. Every time this been looking for me since I was a kid. Yeah. He's been looking for me. <clears throat> Can you imagine all the kids out there who got a fast mom telling them their daddy ain't shit, but the daddy looking for him? I finally talked to my dad. He's a good dude. My mom told me my dad has not paid child support since I was a kid. Mm. I finally meet this. He has an envelope full of shit proof showing he's been paying child support. He told me, mom, he said, your mom is a lying, manipulative. I have not talked to my mom in months. You know why? My mom called me. My mom's in California. My dad's in North Carolina. I moved out of L.A. I can't live in North Carolina or L.A. because I hate those places because of the trauma I went through on both of those places. My mom calls me. What you doing, baby? What's going on? I'm at my dad's house. What the f*** you doing at the house? Didn't I say don't discuss family business? Like, my dad comes and he busts through the door. My dad is happy and married. He's a street. Can't talk about what he do, but he is street. He's happy and married. My mom has been bitter and having sex with so many dumb dudes of different races and she just got married recently to a that she met on Tinder for one month. My mom didn't get married because she was in love. She was she got married because she didn't want to be lonely. Yeah. My dad bu bust through the door and snatched the phone. I was trying to like, no, like hello. Put my son back on the phone. No, my it's my son too. What do you want? Put my son back on the phone. And my dad loses it. Going in on my mom. And I'm listening to my mom. All that slapping abuse and beating up, beating me up, choking me when I'm on the floor, beating me with belts, wrapping hangers around other hangers, beating me till I pass out and wake back up, welps on my back, scars. My mom turned into a two-year-old little girl when my dad started talking to her. She she talked to me like a my entire life. He's yelling on the phone, you mad because I left you. And I didn't want to be with you no more. And you kept my son away from me as a weapon. My mom used her kids as a weapon. She mm. used me and my little sister as a weapon. Whenever my mom would get pissed off by my, my dad or my, my sister's dad, she would, she would say, we'll never see your son again if you disrespect Y'all thought I was playing. That I was exaggerating. Nah. This is infuriating. Because as a father, this is... If it's not my worst nightmare, it's top three. Easy. Outside of a terminal illness diagnosis or outside of getting a phone call that someone you love passed away suddenly and in a horrible fashion, this is up there, man. This is a thing that, and I, before I go where I really, really want to go, let's unpack this a bit. This young man said that ever since he was a little boy, his so-called mother told him that his father wanted nothing to do with him. She literally told this boy who's now a young man, that he was unwanted and did it with a straight face and a clear conscience. What kind of animal do you have to be to wound a child this way? Unless you don't give a shit. And unless the plan is to have him cleave to you like Velcro. She got a little sister from another guy, because you know, mom is out there like that, according to him. She's out there... And I believe them because a lot of these single mothers run so many men through the house. It's not even worth the kid's time to remember the guy's name because he won't be around long enough before his replacement is shut in through the back door. I heard this young man say that he finally met his father. I don't know how he met him. I don't know if the father hired a PI or maybe he did. I don't know. He didn't go into that. But somehow, some way, he found his old man on the other side of the country. Now, he's grew up in California. 
His dad lives in North Carolina, not too far from where I am, 3,000 miles away. His entire life, he was told this man was just garbage. Didn't want him. Your dad ain't shit. That's what he was told by his so-called mother. And when he met the man, her entire facade fell apart. Her mountain of lies just crumbled like a stale cookie in the light of the truth. She calls. I think everything in life happens for a reason. She happened to call while he was at this man's house because it was the last place she ever expected her son to ever be. It had a nerve to get indignant on the phone. It had a nerve to act like she was the one who was being put upon in some way. Guys, side note, you have to understand if you don't already. To all my new guys, welcome. Hit that like button. Guys, please understand that women are prepared to take their secrets to the grave. This woman, and I don't know how old his mom is, my guess is she and the dad were young, maybe teenagers when she first got pregnant with him. So maybe she was maybe 16, 17, 21 or under, I'm sure. Here she is 26, almost 30 years later, guys. Still out here in these streets. Still popping that punani for anybody who would want to catch it. She was prepared to go to the grave with this secret, fellas. She was prepared to live her whole life, die from whatever takes her, and, and this young man never knowing where he came from and never knowing the whole story. What a narcissist. What's important to me is what's important. Fuck your future. Fuck you knowing the other side of your family, your medical history. What if this young man had a sickness and needed a bone marrow transplant? What then? Thankfully, it didn't materialize that way. Thankfully. But what if... There was a situation where he had to get answers. And the only person or the only people who could give it to him were the people on his dad's side. These selfish W-H-O-R-E-S don't understand that and don't care. It's about me. Nothing about you or what's important to you is what matters here. It's about me and me only. That is a dangerous person. What a destructive creature that he crawled out of to get here. He met his dad and he said Pops had a mountain of money order receipts or check carbons to show he had paid all that money where is the jail time for this parental alienation i don't you know i don't know much about california law except that it sucks so i don't even know what the jurisdiction would even how oh, so many unanswered questions are we past the statute limitations to put her in jail for what she's done this young man said he was beaten mercilessly and i'm gonna tell you what was going on with that Maybe he was a bad kid. Maybe he got in trouble at school. Maybe he broke a window playing baseball. Who knows? Kids do dumb shit all the time. I know I did. And we need to be punished for it. And most of the time, you will be. But this is bigger than that. This is bigger than my kid was acting up in class and got a referral from the teacher. No, no. This was every time I look at you, I see that man I couldn't keep. And I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life just to keep the cops from coming and taking you away in a body bag to let you know telepathically talking to the, the father in this case i can do this to your seed and ain't nothing you can do about it you can't rescue him because you don't even know he's out here this is something that happens a lot in our community unfortunately maybe in the white community too i'm not over there so i don't know but in my community you can't look like your dad too much and he was a guy she couldn't keep you will pay the price physically way more than the other way but certainly physically now it ain't interesting though when the dad got on the phone for the first time in almost 30 years and she got to run her fucking mouth, he let her ass have it. Guess what, guys? She went back in time. She went back in time to that little child that she used to be. And she was faced with the evil that she had done, both in his life and his son's life. And she didn't have a fucking word to say. What can she say after all she's done to destroy that many people? How many Christmases, birthdays, his graduation from high school, his first steps, his first tooth loss, and the new one, the adult teeth growing back in. All those school pictures. His prom night. Oh, God, man. Oh, this hits such a hard way because, like I said, I got small children. My, my kids are young, but they know me. I can't imagine all the milestones they've had up to now missing any one of them, let alone every single one of them. All because some bitch got in her feelings. And said to him and I guess the, the little girl, his sister's father, that if I feel disrespected, you'll never see your kid again. Who are we to give that kind of power to an emotions first decision maker in this society? Who are you to say I don't have parental rights to a child you wouldn't even have were it not for me? 
is a question every man in this country should be asking, especially at the ballot box. Now, there are some who think women shouldn't have rights, that the Taliban is the right idea. I'm not that far over there. I think there's some nuance. But they certainly shouldn't have the right to destroy a family on a whim. And they damn sure shouldn't have a right to take kids away from a parent, a father in this case, who has not harmed his children in any way. No female should have the power to do that. Because now it's not just about her feelings. Now it's about a whole life destroyed. This young man has been on this planet for more than a quarter century. That's a lot to catch up on. And who knows what kind of health condition the father is in. Because as he said, my dad's a street dude. Now, I don't know if that means he's scamming. I don't know if that means he's chopping up cars at a chop shop. I don't know if dad's moving weight. But I know he's married. He's got a whole other family on the other side of the country that he's never met until recently. Which is insane to me. He might have younger siblings that, have, that would have loved to have had their older brother's guidance in their life. Because he certainly would have wanted his father's guidance in his. How many people has she destroyed with her selfishness? And how often, every single day does this happen? Guys, be careful whose womb you entrust your ancestral inheritance to. Be careful who you trust with that sacred seed. Because she very well might get in her feelings one day and do this to you. I pray not. I pray not. And for those of you who haven't seen your kids forever, I don't know what your money situation is, and I ain't pocket watching. But I will say this. If there's any way possible that you can reach out to your kids, try to. Use lawyers if you have to. And if you can't afford lawyers, damn it, you got a cell phone. That cell phone has a memory card and a 4K camera. Record yourself every day or once a week. Talk to them like a video journal and catalog that shit. Save it on a hard drive if you have to. A thumb drive, a flash drive, whatever you got to do, man. Burn it to a CD if you still got that technology available to you. But get a way to chronicle what you're going through without them in your life. Because there's a 100% chance they, wherever they are, aren't getting the whole story. You know why? Because they haven't heard your side yet. The marriage rates are in the shitter for a reason, fellas. The birth rates too. Because women are able to do things like this and harm people just because they feel hurt. And we know hurt people hurt people. This can't continue, fellas. Be careful out there. Watch your asses out there. And be there for your brothers if they're going through this. They need you. That said, that's my time. Like the video? Comment down below. Share with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Until next time.